ಹೆಲೋ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ತಮಗೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನನ್ನ ಚಾನಲ್ಗೆ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಸುಸ್ವಾಗತ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಈ ದಿನ ನಾವು ನಿನ್ನೆ ತಾನೆ ನಡೆದಿರುವಂತಹ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತಾರನೇ ಸಾಲಿನ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಅರ್ಧ ವಾರ್ಷಿಕ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಷಯ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನದ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಶ್ನ ಪತ್ರಿಕೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಇದೆ ಅದರ ಒಂದು ಕೀ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ನೋಡೋಣ ಸೊ ಬನ್ನಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಮಿಡ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ವಿಷಯ ಸಂಕೇತ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಇ ಡೇಟ್ ನಿನ್ನೆಯ ಡೇಟ್ ಹದಿಮೂರು ಒಂಬತ್ತು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಎ ಇನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಎ ದ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಎ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಲನಾಯ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿ ಜೆ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಬಹಳ ದೊಡ್ಡದಾಗಬಾರ್ದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಾನು ಬರೀ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಓದ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ವೇರಿಯೇಬಲ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಮೇನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಲೆಸರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಎ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗರ್ ನಿಯರ್ ದ ಪೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೀಕರ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಬಾರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟ್ and for the seventh question the answer is the heat produced in a resistor you can see the full answer i am going to scroll the paper here okay this is all about the question you can write this one or you can write this one you will get two marks here okay for the next question okay this is for the seventh question answers and for the main fourth the answer for the eighth question the answer is this diagram okay you have to draw this diagram then you will get three marks for this answer okay for the ninth question the answer is right hand thumb rule and the characteristic of the field lines or you can write this one okay for the question state fleming's left hand rule you have to write the rule here okay this is the three marks question okay it will continue in the next page also you can see here okay slowly i am scrolling here for the 10th question the answer is q is equal to you have to write this one or if you are going to write for this question the answer is this one okay this is also also the three marks question okay and for the 11th question what is overload the answer is this one and causes for the overload you have to write this okay this is the four marks question and the next is the function of an earth wire you have to write this one okay for the four marks you have to write complete the answer and for the fifth main the 12th question the answer is the rate at which electric energy is dissipated or consumed in an electric circuit is called electric power si unit is watt three formula used to find electric power are p is equal to vi you have to write all these rules and the function of the fuse also they have asked to write the function of the fuse so this much you have to write for the five marks okay and from the part b and the part b is from the chemistry here also alternatives are there for the 13th question the answer is c obtaining copper coat on iron nail by electrolysis okay for the 14th one the answer is c a small amount of sodium hydroxide for the 15th one is answer is methanoic acid and second main 
16th question the answer is using antioxidants keeping food in airtight containers and refrigerating you will get one marks and the further for the 17th question the answer is sulfate radical and the barium iron okay then 18th one okay the for the 18th question the answer is beaker a neutral salt and beaker b is acidic salt this is for one marks question and answer the following questions 9th main 19th question the answer is change in state change in color evolution of a gas and the change in the temperature you will get two marks here draw a diagram you have to draw this for the two marks we have to draw complete diagram and you have to label the parts also okay then for the 21 question this is also for the two marks question you have to draw a diagram here okay next is the 22 question number 22 and it is for the three marks question okay 22 the answer is exothermic and endothermic or if you are going to write this question the answer is this okay if you write this much then you will get surely you will get three marks and for the 23 question number 23 the answer is bleaching powder the molecular formula you have to write and use us okay this is also three marks question and then a plaster of paris okay the molecular formula and you have to write the uses here so then sodium carbonate molecular formula and uses here for this you will get three marks okay for the 24th question this is also a three marks question the answer is i am going to scroll very slowly you can write down in a page okay then answer the following question 25 the answer is here concentrated acid and the dilute acid okay here the differentiation between the concentrated acid and diluted acid you have to write okay the next one is or else if you are going to write this question then you have to write the differences between the acid and base here and the two products that are formed in the chloralkali process and for the part c it's a biology here also four alternatives are there 26 question the answer is b starch and 27 is c and 28 is d facilitating communication between neurons okay next 29 is from the second main what is double circulation blood goes through the heart twice during each cycle this is called double circulation of the blood 30 the answer is this moment is independent of growth and non directional then 31 is name the following answer is iodine and pancreas or if you are writing this one then auxin and uh, gatropism and then for the 32 for the two marks question you have to draw this diagram and you have to label the parts okay next 32 then 33 okay and for the 34 you have to draw the diagram of human brain and you have to label the following parts also okay for the three marks you have to list the different methods of excretion that are found in the plants okay these are all the methods okay 35 then next move on to the 36 question number for the 36 you have to write for the three marks you have to write this much okay or if you are going to attend this question then you have to write this one 
answer the following question for the 37th question you have to write this one and uh, about intestinal juice aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration and then for the 38 question this is for the four marks question okay okay i hope you like my videos thank you friends